here's something you may not know about schools as they get underway for the new year. Radon levels. Take a look at this map from the EPA. The red areas have the highest levels in the state. And the orange are lower, but are still higher than normal. And most of Western PA is in red on that map. So knowing radon can cause cancer, what do you think of Pennsylvania schools not being required to test for it? Channel 11 News anchor Peggy Finnegan dug into why. With children's safety on the line, it's hard to believe Pennsylvania schools are not required to test for radon. I would think that they should, but I don't know that they do. Some school districts in our area have started testing, like Kiskey area in Westmoreland County, a county with high radon readings. Out of the two private buildings and nine school districts that we work with for radon testing, it costs on average $962 per building to test. Experts say you can reduce your exposure to radon by making changes to a building's ventilation system. About 33% of the school buildings across southwestern PA had tested for radon at some point over a 10-year period. Um, but we know that for those 33% that tested, 28% of them had um, exceedances over the action level for radon. Radon is the leading cause of lung cancer in non-smokers, and doctors say it can be more harmful to children because they have faster breath rates. A bill requiring schools to test every five years is sitting in the legislature right now. Parents say something has to be done regardless of cost. Oh my gosh, you pay enough in school like property taxes, like I'm sure they could find a couple dollars in the budget for that. Peggy Finnegan, Channel 11 News. Peggy, thank you. It's an important topic. States all around the U.S. like New York, West Virginia, and New Jersey all have laws requiring radon testing in schools. It's long-term exposure that can cause cancer. You can find all this information and more about testing at WPXI.com.